How's it going, dudes? And welcome back to Doki Doki. I'm not gonna even finish the title because this is a long title. But yeah, we're back. And I'm gonna make this video a little longer because nothing really happened in the previous video, which was probably a bit boring. So let's continue. So, Reed, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh. Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I, I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on clearly passionate about her reading. She seemed so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes lighten up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I, I like a lot of things, stories with deep ph philosophical elements usually impress me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, uh, I read a I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp something I can relate to in a minimum level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. <laughs> really? I wouldn't have expected that. Expect that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you, I guess you could you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror, you and me both. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over, over to me. Did I just say over twice? For a split second? Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things. Don't you, Natsuki? Wait, what? What's. What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! And give that back! Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just cute as you are. So you're a... Siddles... 
titles. I have no idea how to pronounce that. Up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Natsuki, you write your own poem? It, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you, you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometimes? No. Natsuki adverts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. I'm not a, uh, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. And she just got nervous. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Ah, uh, I wanted to read someone everyone's poem. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay! I have an idea, everyone! Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. The next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Uh, um... Yeah, let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Reed? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. I don't think I quite decided to join the club. I think she's jumping the gun a little bit. Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh, what's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join the, this club. Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other, other clubs to look at and, um, I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. Yeah, they look pretty dejected to me. But... I'm sorry, I thought... Hmm. Reed. You all... I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear heading decision, clear-headed decision, when it's like this? This is if writing poetry is the price I need to pay in order to, to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. Uh, a man in his weak heart. One by one, the girl's eyes lighten up. Yes! I'm so happy! Sorry, wrapped her arms around me, jumping up and down. Uh, hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for cupcakes, I would be super pissed. 
then that makes it official. Welcome to the Literature Club. Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Wanna go look over at me once more? Reed, I look forward to seeing how you how you express yourself. <laughs> I cannot do that. But yeah. I can oh wait, that. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety rolling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls get to eat the chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey Rui, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Sayori and I never walked home together anymore because she always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in the literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem, a poem tonight. Do I actually have to write? Oh no! Is this a mini game? It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club members will like. Something good w might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Um. Oh, I like the little chibi characters right there. That's cute. Hmm. I'm just gonna pick words that I like. So, Starscape. Hmm. Why? Um. Shiny? I think I know who likes them. Universe. Hey. Nightgown. Um. Hmm. After image. Hmm. What next? Ooh, I'm mating. Game. Melancholy. I'm just at this rate, this is gonna be a random poem. Hmm. Sunny. Family. Chocolate. What is with the luck? Oh, promise. Heart. Oh, it's gonna be her, isn't it? Kitty. Hmm. Fantasy.
Poppy. Which one? Special. Melody? Yeah. Hi again, Reed. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little frightening for me, but at least my, at least I kept, I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Reed. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on. Like he deserves any slack. Sayori told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Get their manga collection in the club room. <laughs> Nozuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, Nozuki plots her plop back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Reed always gives his best as long as he's having fun. I really hope I don't have to read the poem. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. So you worry that's because your room is always so messy. It's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> You two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be... I might be a little jealous. How come? You and Reed can become good friends, too. Ooh, did I just hit my mic? Uh, um... Sayori? Hmm? As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh, oh, Yuri even brought you something today, you know. But wait, Sayori? Uh, me? N um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? N never mind. Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it really not. Uh, what it do I do? Uh, sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place, so any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. Yeah, the surprise. It'll make me happy. No matter what. Is that so? Yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want want it to be. Alright. Well here. You're reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. You didn't Well I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so I should. It should keep your attention even if you don't usually read. And we 
could, you know, discuss it if you want. This is... How is this girl actually be so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, can you read it at your own pace? I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone settled in, I expect Monica to kick off some scheduled activity for the, the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already burning, buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Who am I gonna talk to? Man. Looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slumped down into the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with everything with something literature related by myself like this? I guess I could al always read some books, some of the books Yuri gave me. But I feel a little too tired to read. I could probably fall asleep right now. I close my eyes and end up listening in on Sayori's conversation with Monica. We're probably gonna seem really lame compared to all the other clubs though. Hmm? Well, we can't give, it, give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is that the idea of the literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. But it's not like that all, that at all, you know. We just need to need a way to sh of showing that to everyone. Why am I stuttering? Something that speaks to their creative mind. Hmm. That doesn't solve the problem, though. Uh, what do you mean? Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, nobody will come in the first place if it's a literature event. So, it's more important to figure out how to get everyone to show up in the first place, you know? And after they come, we can do something to speak to their degree of mind. What's this? Sayori is taking this really seriously. It's rare to hear her deliberating like this. Huh, that's a good point. In that case, do you think food will do the trick? What kind? Ah, uh, well, I guess we could... Cupcakes! And yeah, she's back. Haha, <laughs> good thinking. Natsuki, would you... would love to do that. Ah, uh, you're right. Natsuki makes the best cupcake. That works out perfectly. That wasn't why you suggested it. Cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. <laughs> Cupcakes it is then. I'm hungry. Anyway, we still need to work out the details of the event itself. I find myself smiling. In the end, Sayori is still her usual self. But therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike me, who 
had trouble finding any motivation at all. Yara can put her mind to things and make them come to life. I suppose that's why I ended up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. Ugh. I open my eyes and find Sayori's face filling my vision. I nearly fall out of my chair. <laughs> sorry. Wait. Acting? I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. This isn't the nappy club. That would be an awesome club. Does our school have a nappy club? You're staying up late again, aren't you? Now that you're in the club, you're gonna have to have less time for anime, you know. You'll need to get used to it. Sorry. Uh, blah, blah. You didn't even say sorry. Where did that come from? Don't say that so loud. I glanced over my shoulder to see if Monica, Monica overheard. It's true though. Yeah, I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, Sayori. <laughs> That's what I do best. That's the problem. What about you? You look out for me, for me better than you look it out for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Eh. Not every day. That's not. That's not very convincing. How many? How many days this past week have you gone up on time? That's. That's a secret. I knew it. Come on. At least give me the benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. Look, Sayori. It's written all over your, all over you. Eh? Sayori glances around at herself. Ugh. I think she took that a little too literal. How is it written all over me? You were clearly in a rush this morning. Look, your hair is sticking out all around here. Uh, I run my fingertips down the side of Sayori's hair, trying to string, straighten it out. Man, you really need to brush this. My hair is just really hard to get right. I, I won't fall for that. There's more than just your hair. Look, your bow isn't straight either. And there's a toothpaste stain on your collar right here. I try to wipe off the stain with my fingers. But nobody would ever notice that. Of course they would. Nobody's gonna tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Unfortunately, fortunately, I really don't care about that. Hey, hey, you meanie. And you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. Seriously, Siori. I mispronounced her name. Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? Eh. That's super mean. Sorry, but you'll thank me later. I think there's a I think there's another reason she doesn't have a boyfriend yet. Sorry, I'm just applying anime logic. I start to button up button her blazer from the bottom. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. Well, 
This is so funny. What is? Well, I was just thinking about thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kind of things. Eh? Don't say that. Oh wait, that was me. You won't make me feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay, though. I'm happy we're like this. Aren't you? Uh... I guess? Hey, be careful. The button... The bu the button might come off. Why is this one so hard to close? I struggle to fully close the button near... I think I know why it's so hard to close. Does this thing even fit you properly? <laughs> it did when I bought it. Huh. If you ever buttoned it, you would have noticed sooner than sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? It means my boots are bigger again. Don't say that out loud. <laughs> anyway, you look much better now, so... Uh... Why does it feel strange to see Sayori play the button up like that? But it's so stuffy. Uh... It's not worth it at all. Sayori hastily unbuttons the blazer once more. And she's back. Phew. That's so much better. Siori puts her arms out and twirls around. So if I keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? And why are you saying that like it's a good thing? Because if I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't even let you do things like this. And you take care of me better than anyone else would anyway. Aw, oh, she's blushing. So that's why I'm keeping it up on Stop saying... Stop saying all these embarrassing things. Eh. I think... I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Well, anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. Fine, fine. It's a deal. <laughs> I guess we really are at bed. Really are better at taking care of each other than we are at taking care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so, huh? So maybe you, you should come wake me up in the morning. You're doing it again, Sayori. Aw. But I was joking that, joking that time. Man, it's impossible to tell with you sometimes. Okay, everyone. Eh? Monica... Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we share the poems we wrote now? Yay! Reed, I can't wait to read your... Yeah, same. I fail to sound, sound enthusiastic, but Sayori still trot away to retrieve her poem. And I think we will be hear the poem in the next video. I hope you do to, and I hope you do to enjoy. If you did, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to help my channel grow, tell a friend. E even if you have to force them down and tape, t tape them to a chair and make them force and force them to watch my videos. Yeah, I'm joking. 
clearly, clearly joking. But anyways, if you're, if you want to stay up to date on my, when I upload, hit that bell icon, and I will see you dudes in the next video.